made me cry. This is our last night here at Sweet Rhythm. How about it for Greg Lewis? Ron Jackson on the guitar. So we will be joining us later for the second set. Alfredo Catfish Elias! And you and some of you have been coming for the last two years or so. I've been doing this gig pretty steady off and on for since, since 2005. I've been hanging out here much longer than that. Anyway, this has been one of the places that has kept me, us, gainfully employed for the last few years. And I'm so, so grateful to have places like this where they support art, artist, artist, and the music. And I, I was raised in this place. I know you don't believe it, but I loved when it was sweet basis. I saw a lot of great music here, and I'm so happy that I'm one of the people to grace the stage. Right here at Sweet Rhythm, the love of a love. Every week, and of course tonight is not raining, you know, we always have rain on Thursday nights. <laughs> but uh, I can say that it won't. People always could refer to the great American songbook, the uh, standards. Those are standards, not from our generation as I stand the room, but, but they have become like the standard in like jazz singing. So we attempted to, you know, take the classics of the songs that we grew up with, our generation. I grew up with songs. I listened to Miles Davis because of my parents and I, you know, Joni Mitchell and all those people, but I think it still could be you know, treat it in the same fashion because I, I grew up with them love between love and hate is the wonder about it. Whoa, man. But anyway, so we've been able to expand on that. We did some of our earlier uh, concerts here, just, you know, what we were doing on Thursday nights. So I, you know, I'm going to thank them tremendously all night long. James Brown and Martha Barrett, the proprietors of this establishment, who've given us a home and, and, and nurtured us to put this together. Now we're ready to go forth in the world. Call your people in Hollywood. L-E-Z-L-I-E, H-A-R-R-I-S-O-N. I love Stevie, I love Marvin. And this is one of them. Uh, and often, for those of you who follow me on Facebook, you know I often quote Mr. Wonder. I wake up thinking about him sometimes. <laughs> I love this place, and I've loved being here for two years with this wonderful band. If blood will flow, when flesh and steel are one, drying in the colors of the evening sun. Let me tell you, I saw Art Blakey here on the stage. I saw McCoy Turner on the stage. I saw Abby Lincoln on the stage, I saw Dakota State on the stage, I saw the art ensemble of Chicago, Cecil Taylor, and I'm so happy to be in the company of those who have graced the stage here with them. And I'm so glad that my friend James Brown and his partner Martha Barrett have given us a platform to continue and to grow and to become what you all know us to be. And uh, thank you for your support. That's a big, big support me. If not, I want to thank Fuso too. Fuso. Fuso. Give a big round of applause for Fuso. He gives the light, the sound, and my final moments there. Thank you, Saul. You know, I met Saul many, many years ago. My very first gig in New York. But there's a place downtown, uh, Spring Street. It's one of the oldest, one of two, uh, the two oldest bars in New York. Uh, it's called the Air Inn. And it was owned by a black man named James Brown. He was like the, he was on the ship with, uh, on the boat with uh, George Washington. But uh, yeah, his name was James Brown. 
Anyway, he's got the second oldest place in the city, uh, an Irish pub. And, uh, and I heard Saul playing there, and I wasn't even thinking about singing. It was just in my imagination. Yeah. But I turned that imagination into reality, and I'm so happy that I did. Because in that reality, I found Greg, and I found Catfish. We have become part of the union. I love them to death. They've been wonderful friends and wonderful in helping me to become the band leader that I have become. And I imagined this would happen to me one day. Thank you, Ashton. If I didn't call your name tonight, thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Eric.